Okay, so hello everyone. Um, just testing a bit. Let's see if it, this works correctly. I think it does. So in this live stream, I'm gonna try to make um, uh, physics-based gears, and what I mean by that is that the gears will either work exactly like in real life meaning that they will act with uh, mechanical forces on each other by contact either that or uh, I'm gonna be using uh, physics constraint to make them turn either way they will not be s um, controlled by a function or something so they should move naturally uh, so let's see let me check something I think we're okay yeah okay so um, I found this so I'm gonna use blender for the modeling and I found this uh, that's just a bit Okay, so I'm going to be using Blender for modeling and I found this add-on created by someone, I don't know how to pronounce his, his name, it's probably Russian or Ukrainian, I don't know exactly, but he's done um, an add-on that creates mathemati mathematically correct gears, so this is great because otherwise they're really hard to match and um, uh, they probably won't work correctly Let me check the sound real quick. I think it's okay. Yeah, should be okay. Okay. So let's see. So I've got this installed. It gets gives a. If you wanna install it, you have this version here so you can install it it only it doesn't work in blender 2.8 so i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna use 2.79 okay so i'm just gonna remove this here So, wait, wasn't that? Um, let's put it here because it's probably going to be a tutorial at some point. So, dev here and we'll see physics based gears. Okay. And here we'll just create our file. So I'll just save it already. And so 
Okay. So now let's just center this and we'll add the gear. So this we have this menu here and spur gear. Now I don't know exactly the terms, but let's see how it goes, right? So I want to do a smaller one and a bigger one. So we have different rotation rates. Uh, so you just got this menu here and I think this is big, quite big. So I, I'm not sure I want it this big. Let's go back into our project. So two meters would be like this. So it's too big. I would say we'll make one of a uh, let's say 50 centimeters so let's adjust these settings not sure how they work exactly but let's see so put this 20 here I think so this gives us wait has the same size that now right I know okay so it changed, okay. So let's put the here five centimeters. Well, five centimeters. I like that. And yeah, this should be okay. Thickness. So this will put 10 centimeters, of course, not meters. Okay. So I think that looks good. I want it to be full on the inside. Not sure. We'll see. Add driver. Mm, that's weird. Pressure angle. Okay, so we've got this. Well, I don't care. I can add this myself. So Z. Ah, yeah, okay, so this is the number of teeth. Okay, so we wanted one that it's like this, and the other one that it's like half or something. So let's put this at 20. I put, we put the other one at 10. And uh, I don't think we can duplicate this, but. We can, but it doesn't work anymore. It's okay. We just just get this out of the way, and we'll put the other one in, and it should keep the same. Whoa! Did it actually know how to do this? That's weird. Like... Wow, okay. So that's weird because it actually knew how to do this. Okay, that's great. So exactly what we wanted. Well apparently it has 12 of these teeth. So uh, I think this is okay, right? Should be okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna try these. Now the problem here, let's... Now the problem here would be that... Let me see if we got... Yeah, if we got two like these and one rotates in one direction and the other one in the other one direction then we can't use physics based uh, physics constraints because they will not work uh, inverted hmm. so we have already one uh, problem now if not, we'll have to add the 
the collision so in order to do that we have to uh, let's see the distance between these do we know the distance so let's see on the x-axis we've got 80 centimeters because this is at zero so 80 centimeters let's just leave them like this and we'll just duplicate them so we don't lose the reference because we're gonna have to put them at the exact same uh, distance in the engine itself in Unreal Engine so let's see so now we have to make the collision now the collision because we need to have let me check something because we need to have convex hulls then we cannot do a collision like this so um, we'll have to cut these th these parts and have them uh, independently and have this as one object so let's see how we can do this so I think we can cut them from here and then we'll use them like this although it's not going to be perfect but we'll use them like this and then the engine will just make uh, something that approximates it so not like this okay so let's see so I'm thinking for the uh, let's complete this mm, let's complete this was it bridge right okay that's it and let's recalculate the normals they're okay okay so let's complete the other one also like this bridge okay that's good and now so we're gonna cut one of these and then uh, duplicate it and have each one of these separately and then we're gonna use UCX to define that but yeah we're gonna have to look at that because I don't know exactly how it works for mul multiple hulls but if I keep them as object it should work okay so here I think we'll just take this like that so it should be something like this uh, something like this mm, we'll see how it goes and I think we can I think we can split this like this and then we'll take this wait why does it still work I thought it ah yeah that wasn't the right thing to do actually it wasn't split it was edge split this one and now if we look it should have spl split yeah so we'll take this one we'll duplicate and separate like that and then let's go back here and I'll just remove the doubles 
so it reconnects this so now we have the teeth the tooth all by itself like this with a center here and i think we can just simply add a mm, Um, an array modifier so we duplicate it but I think we have to know let's see here can we do snap wait let's snap the vertices and rotate Z Just let it here. Uh, it should work. Where is it? Where does it snap? It should snap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm, not sure where it should snap, but it, is it okay here? I think it might be. So if we look, we have 30 degrees rotation. So we put here zero, like that, then we'll add here, let's snap the cursor here, we'll bring the cursor to the selected and we'll add uh, an empty so this empty will actually rotate with 30 degrees and this one will serve for our array modifier so we'll just rotate this 30 degrees like that and now just take this one and we'll add an array modifier object offset and we'll take our from here and this will put to zero yeah so it already works I think it's okay right hmm so we put 12 here, right? That's okay, that's good. So now I have this one made. And the other one should actually be the same thing. The tooth here should be identical with the other one. But let's, we'll just try to um, export this one. So let's just put this to the side and we'll duplicate this and we'll just apply the, the modifier uh, I think we need yeah so let's apply the modifier where is it uh, Did it not take? Wait. That's that's weird. So it didn't take the other one. Okay. I'll take them like this. So let's. Select this one and we'll apply it. And now I have this one here. Let's hide it for now, I think. Now let's hide the other one. So we actually need to make the circle also. And I think we can do that using simply so we can get rid of this. Let's bring our cursor here so and now we'll just put a circle 
moved it. We're gonna scale to that. That's good. And then oh, we need this one also. Well, actually, I think we can put this one also because we don't have any interaction in the middle. So let's scale. See if we can scale here. I think that's okay. Yeah. So now we we'll just apply the scale. Now we go into and extrude upwards. And just F. I don't think we can really care about the, the geometry. So wait. It has messed up normal, so let's recalculate them. Okay. So this one with the others should make the the collision. Now let's bring the other one back and we'll actually hide the, which one this one will hide. So here we have only the collision. These ones and but I think they have to be uh, separate meshes probably so uh, we can separate them by let's go into and separate loose parts like this and now they're separate objects okay but I think these no actually I think they probably have to be one single object because here let's see I remember that they have to be they have a prefix u ucx prefix so let's see probably this one because they have a guide on this yeah so convex object can be completely closed convex ship okay okay Yeah, so we can only have one collision, I think. Let's see. So if you have a render mesh named 301, your collision mesh sh should be in the same scene with that mesh and the name is USCX01 and the next part along with the render mesh. If you, uh, if you need more than one collision object, or you can extend their names with further identifiers. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because if we leave them, it will probably not take the correct, not do the correct uh, thing. Okay, so. So with underscore zero 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 one, okay, and they will be associated as collision for that mesh. Okay, so let's get back to this. So uh, let's name this. Let's go into. Uh, let me check something. So we had the gears, so we'd have a 
five centimeter okay so we'll take the module so we'll put gear and five centimeters module and the number of teeth okay so let's get rid of this go back so this one has five centimeter module and 12 teeth and the other one the same thing but um, 20 teeth right so we'll put this in the name so let's unhide our gear this one and we'll put here gear five centimeter m let's say m five centimeter and teeth 12. and then we'll take this the name and here zero 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 one this will take a while right okay so let's go this way two three should have imported it like that and see what happens but I think it doesn't work I messed up this one This should be seven, and this should be X six. Now, there's probably a better way to do this, but. Okay, so that's, whoa, that's not good. So this is 12. Whoa. Just checking again which one is zero, yeah. Okay, that's good. But I forgot about UCX. Okay, so should add UCX in the beginning. UCX Okay, that should be okay. Let me see. So 
so we've got the gear full okay now we can select all of them and we'll say we'll snap to center and then selection to cursor okay but we have to offset it uh, vertically so it's in the center which i think we had five centimeters here so i'll say 2.5 centimeters well mm, 0 0.025 right because it's in meters mm, that's not good Wait, let me check. So we have 10 centimeters, okay. So 0 0.05, it's good. And now we can export them. Let's see. <coughs> Export FBX gears I'll well, leave them like that selected objects armature or oh, leave just mesh right so I think that's it export now if we go here in Unreal Engine let's see here one in progress okay it's really I think I have a problem with my computer working slowly okay that's weird I think it's okay now Let's see whoa not quite Let's close this. We'll come back to it later. Oh, come on. Implemented. No, which one? In progress here. And we'll put. gears like that and just let's just copy a map from somewhere I think this we can take this one from the Rogue machine let's actually slow this one let's see if it, it's any better yeah that's good so we'll copy this one and we'll put it into gears right here. Okay. <coughs> Let me check something here. Okay, so we've got the gears map. Let's get rid of these. Uh, how is that easy to get rid of? Let's see. From the top, should be better. Yeah. should work to remove them, right? Don't understand. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay.
had to clean that up. Now let's see perspective here. Okay, it's empty. And we've got no floor. Okay, that's not good. Let's see here. We'll make this one bigger. Okay, let's see if it still works. Yeah, we need to get this up a bit. Okay. Um, I think I eliminated something that we needed for the player. map uh, rename later it's not important mm, this is actually good because it has physics constraints set up like we want it that's good okay so let's bring this in gears let's see if it works we're not gonna generate collisions remove degenerates Uh, there's no search function for this. Okay, let's import it like this. Zebra. Yeah, we don't care about this stuff. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the size is good. Uh, and let's see its collision. Simple collision, is it that good? Okay, I think I think it's really good. So it's just here. So it's almost perfect. It's just here, it's yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's see. If we put this with a physics constraint. Let's make an actor for this. This is really original gear one. So let's just add this static mesh. <coughs> gear like that uh, gear here and I should have put the, the right name here I don't like this let's go back <coughs> let's get this we'll delete this one <coughs> and because I wanted to have the right name because we have m I'm going to have multiple gears. Okay. So, 
export here fbx we're gonna have to take this name where was it gear 5k this one export fbx and we'll just paste this name and selected objects mesh I don't think we need anything else let's just go back here drop it again okay well of course we took gears again that's why it doesn't work we'll just get rid of this Okay, we'll save everything. <laughs> it's funny that it actually recognized it as being the, the object that was before, or was it? No, no, not actually. Okay, so here, gear, that's one, good. So we've got this one, so let's put in a physics constraint. And we'll just rotate so the green one is the twist. And we want it to have twisting in this plane, so let's rotate that 90 degrees like that. <coughs> let's just limit the rotation except this twist right here. This one will lift to none, this one will put here. That's good. So it's parented to the actor itself. Now this one activate physics. Simulate physics, it doesn't work. Why? Because it doesn't recognize the collision, I think. Um that's usually why it didn't work before, but let's see this collision setting. So we have simple, wait, what? We don't have the collision anymore. Why? Ah, yeah, because I haven't selected the right stuff. It's my fault, actually. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, again. Okay, so here we'll just have to re import it. Okay. Let's see again if it works now. Simple collision. That's it. That's right. This is actually working very nicely. Let's see now. Uh, it should be okay to activate physics now. Yes, it is. And I think that should be enough. So let's drop this actor into the scene or we'll just rotate it so it's vertical mm, 90 degrees let's see if it works wait okay so it does work let's make it stop at some point So we'll just add some friction here, swing, right, one, that should be enough, I think. What's the mass of this? 12 kilos, that, that should be okay. So now if we try again, it should stop. Well. I think the mass is too great, so put here 10. Hmm. 
That's weird. Swing driver state should work actually. Ah, it's because it's not swing, it's twist. This one. And we can actually go back to one, I think. Say now, and if we grab this. Yeah. So now I need an object to check if we have collision in between. Let's see. So by the looks of it, it works exactly as intended. It does. Okay. That's great. So now let's try and make the other one. Well, actually, we can duplicate this one. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, the problem is it's not going to be easy to make them. Well, I think they will probably. Uh, yeah, no, I prefer, oh, actually, yeah, I think they'll probably go into equi equilibrium by the cells. Okay, let's see if it, this explodes. Let's see. Well, this, well, this is actually working. Wait, is it? I think the friction is too great, but it is working apparently. And that's awesome. Let's see this again. Let's get rid of the friction because oh, we already have friction between them. Uh, let's see now. It's weird that when I push it here, it actually goes the other way. That is because... Well, I think I have to get this... <coughs> Let me see. So I'll keep I'll duplicate this again and we'll keep it on the same axis like that. Actually you can actually calculate this distance, the right distance, but I don't think I'll do that right now. I think this should be okay. Maybe. Let's see this again. That's working already better. What's funny is that when I push it, when I poke it here, it sometimes goes in the other direction. Mm. So we have this here. Let's see again. Ah, wait. This was actually rotated 30 degrees. So let's put this again here. No. Well, just duplicate it here. Wait, how do you duplicate? Hmm, not sure how to duplicate this. That's uh, okay. So now we'll rotate it 30 degrees. Thirty. Uh, wait. Fifteen should be. Because it's in half, right? So now. Have it here. Let's move it. A bit. 
outside. Yeah, because here we have this collision that goes like that. So let's see this again. Okay, so this is actually working really well. Wasn't expecting this, but I think they are pushing one another. Is it right? I think they're probably pushing one another. another. So they have to. So this is actually um, fault in the engine because they shouldn't. Let's see. So we put for the twist. We got twist here. We'll actually add some friction just so that they don't push one another to infinity. Okay, that's really that's great. So they're actually working. That's great. Really awesome. So let's see here. Change this color to something I like. That's great. So I think we'll make the other one now. But we should be able to use the same tooth that we had before. So we can, we should be able to use this from here. But we we'll have to center it. Uh, this is going to be hard. No, we're not going to use this one. We're just going to cut another one. Wait, let's put it back. Okay, so we have which one? I think we were like this. So this is the first one, second. This is. So wait. Yeah, I, I don't think we have the one with the modifier anymore, but it doesn't matter. So let's just. get this one here oh, okay mm. okay so this one so we'll do the same thing we'll separate You know what? This one we can actually do the ring more easily. Just duplicate this one. I don't know why I created a new one there. So let's see. So it's like this, and then we split and split here, and then we. Control L to select all the connected. Now let's separate. So now we have the tooth here. That's good. Let's reconnect this one. So we'll remove the doubles to reconnect it back. Okay. Now we can simply use this one here as a collision. So let's see if I can wait. I want this edge look, but I don't think we can get it. Let's see here. Mm, that's weird that we can't get that. I uh, see like this one, but this one here. That's probably because we have three intersection here yeah it doesn't matter 
we can use this one wait this one like this let's just duplicate it and separate so we can make the collision right so we need this one and uh, we're just gonna scale it to reach this point somewhere over here not doesn't have to be perfect so yeah don't care that much okay but I don't know why it's up ah yeah because I scaled it okay so let's get it back here and then go inside and then we can extrude it uh, on the z-axis like that wait let's just F to make the faces and uh, here we'll just recalculate okay wait why do I have selected everything Okay, so now we have the central collision and could I have just, yeah, doesn't matter. Which one was that? This one. So I'm wondering if, if I could have selected somehow all the teeth of the gears but I can't select it like this that's the problem see wait there are no doubles okay have too much geometry here I don't like it but I think we have a face ah wait is it wait let's get the ah yeah this because it's this one so if we'll hide it it's the correct one uh, how can we select this there's a grow, I think. No. Ah, yeah, we can actually select the faces, I think. Let's see. No. Hmm. Mm, I don't like that. Because we could have, we could have created the teeth directly without using the the modifiers not sure how to do that so we'll go back to the plan before let's see what was that uh, I think I lost the teeth yeah this one so we'll just duplicate it oh wait and rotate it and see what's the angle let's see here We've got 18 degrees, okay. So 
we'll need to add a modifier to create all the teeth here so we'll just I just snap the cursor to the center here, sorry to the selected and we'll use an empty for that uh, where was empty plane axis so we're just gonna rotate this 18 degrees and then if we look here we're gonna add a modifier where was that modifier array zero here and we'll just add an offset object for this one and I think that's okay yeah that's okay now we just put 18 I uh, know what was 20 right let's see if we get this to 90 uh, 19 it doesn't work okay so now I think we can apply this this takes a lot of time I think we might have wait let me check something here so if I create this could I separate directly the teeth from this pressure angle and the driver not sure what driver is Additional angle, ah, yeah, okay. Let's see that again. So, oh, come on. There was one here, I think. I'm not sure we can do that, but there should be a way to separate these somehow. sure how no it doesn't matter we made this one it's good now we've got the teeth here wait that's not right so we'll just apply this get rid of the the other one okay so let's so we got the gear here and the teeth okay now we need to unhide our this one and uh, I don't like that it doesn't have the same origin so let's put the same origin cursor to select it and then we'll get this one and set here origin to 3d cursor okay now let's bring this in the middle cursor to center and select it the cursor and we'll shift this on the z axis with 0 0.05 minus okay I think it's okay you know what I'm gonna try to let this maybe just have this one as one mesh the other one as so we have just two meshes for the collision and we'll see if it separate this but I don't think so so this one 
was gear. M five centimeters and teeth twenty. And then here we'll put no, not the other one. We'll put this zero zero and with a UCX and then here we'll put zero one we'll try to see what this gives us but i don't think it will work um, let's see we'll export this i'll put here 20 and just select okay that should work Let's see, import, didn't have to change anything because the settings were right. Let's see here. Yeah, so exactly what I was expecting, but yes, yeah, so we have one collision for this one and another collision for the other one. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Well, let's try again. Let's not put the middle and see what happens. So is this one. Right. So I select this and the other one. Wait. Like this. Okay, and re-import it. Yeah, so now as you can see, it takes this one as one big wheel object. So it's not good. So we'll have to separate the teeth. So I think, let, let me see here, if we have different objects, dot zero zero two, okay, so let's just name this like that. And and when we separate it, we should have, let's see here, that zero zero two. Well, that's close enough, I think. Let's hide this and this so we can use these correctly. So we just put like this, right? Just put an underscore. I'm sure there's some batch rename function somewhere or add-on, but for now I'll stick to this.
Okay, so... So I'll put here twenty T twenty twenty. And then it's the first one. Wait, so the first one here. Okay, so select all of this. So we got here everything and zero and the gear. This one that should be okay. So now let's export this twenty. That's it, and then reimport here. That should be okay, right? Yeah, looking good. Okay, now let's make. Well, we have to make another. Mm, we could have used here. Uh, could have configured this, but you know, let's just duplicate this one. Uh, let's put here gear twelve T. Twelve. Okay, and we'll duplicate this, and we'll say year T twenty. Mm, and here we'll simply change this one, and it should be okay. We shouldn't have to do anything. Uh, yeah. Except we're gonna have to change the material because I don't like that one. Not here, here. Okay, that's nice. So let's see if. This works ninety degrees, and let's leave it like that and see if it works like that. Yeah, it does, and then we'll put it on the same under the uh, Y, the same coordinate. This one. Okay, and I think we can do this by simply putting it like this. Uh, maybe a little bit like that. I think that should be okay. So let's see what happens. Whoa, that's awesome. Wow, okay. Okay, that's awesome. So let's try this here. Of 
course we need this one we have to have a different mass so it does uh, uh, continues rotating uh, let's see here I think we can add another mesh so let's see again so it's actually working That's awesome. So if we add more mass to this one, it should continue spinning for a longer time. Let's see. Let's put a hundred kilos, although I don't think it's a good idea. Let's see if it, pa it might pass through that one. Yeah, so it does spin a bit more. grab it but I uh, I know I know uh, let's take a cube for this come on uh, this has a hundred kilos so it's normal it won't move them much let's take a bigger cube then mm. So let's see. Oh, come on. Uh. Mm, don't like this. Yeah, so. I think it works as best as it can for this. I think this works great for now for starters so these are so these are uh, physics based gears working only with the collision and we just got physics constraints that hold them so they can rotate but that's it so this interaction is exactly like a mechanical stuff so works great for now of course they are not put here as they should but yeah I think it works great and what we can do is actually have we can put a slippery we can put a slippery physics material Okay, so here we put slippery here, and let's see for the other one also T12. Uh, it 
wasn't this one, it was the physical. I don't know which one is this, but let's put this one. Second one. Let's change to make sure the second one is selected here. Yeah, second one, that's good. Save. So I think it should work better now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so I think it works better. This is actually working uh, really good, really well. It's really looking fun, like fun to play with. I'm gonna do a more complicated mechanism with this, but not now, probably. Now I'm really satisfied with the results i think three gears it's already a lot would be nice to attach some weights to them and see how they work but for now i think they work really well we probably can get this closer But yeah, it's already looking good. Let's see that again. Yeah, I think it's working better already. I actually should put this at a calculated distance from this one, but yeah, I'll have to look over the formulas for that. Can't remember exactly. But this is looking really good. Yeah. So I think I think I'm gonna leave this one like that, like it is right now, because it's looking like it's working really well. The only thing I could do is disable the friction that I've added, but. Put this to zero point one and here zero point one. Let's see this again. That's definitely better. That's a lot better. Yeah, so I think that's looking really great. So we've managed to make physics-based gears without uh, physics constraints. Well, we just have physics constraints for the, the axis of rotation, that's it. But the rotation between them, it's only generated by the contact between the surfaces. So that's great that's awesome okay so I think we'll leave it to that 
and we'll see another time what we can do with these because I'm thinking we can do some awesome stuff with this but yeah for now these are physics based gears working correctly okay and with that said I'm gonna see you uh, in the next live stream or tutorial for that matter yeah so I'll see you bye bye